The final tornado warning was issued just before 3 a.m. And now let's go ahead and turn over to our focus on severe weather. And that image there that we got from Nashville is so important to us right now because it is similar to the images we saw coming from Jeff City back in May. So for Missouri's Severe Weather Awareness Week, continuing here today with tornado safety and preparedness in Missouri, just Missouri, 66 tornadoes were conformed confirmed in 2019. Now nationwide, the biggest outbreak and many of you may remember it was in May from the 17th to the 30th, where over 500 confirmed tornadoes were reported across the country. And that outbreak did include that Jeff City tornado, that EF3 that struck after midnight into the early morning hours. Now, what can you do to keep yourself safe? Well, first and foremost is practice your plan now. Have it in place well before storms come anywhere close to the heartland. And we are nearing severe weather season. But keep in mind, anywhere anytime it can happen like we saw there in Nashville. Make sure you can get to a safe room, a basement or a storm cellar. And if you cannot get to any of those, make sure you are getting to the most interior room of your house, putting as many walls between you and the outside. Avoid windows, doors and those exterior walls. Also know the signs of a tornado, a rotating funnel cloud, a sound that kind of uh, reminds you of a freight train coming down the tracks. Things like that can help you stay a little bit safer, but also make sure to tune in to all of our updates as well as keeping an eye on weather alerts coming from the National Weather Service as well as us here. But keep in mind, Missouri residents, today is the tornado drill. So coming up here this morning at 10 a.m., tornado sirens across the state will, uh, will sound. But keep in mind, there is no threat of severe weather today. This, if you hear the sirens going off, it is for the drill going across the state here at 10 a.m. Now, the Iowa tornado drill will take place much later on this month, March 25th, once again at 10 a.m. And if there is threats of strong to severe weather during that day, they will postpone that actual drill. But let's take a look at our current conditions because it is mild, especially compared to those uh, cooler temperatures we had yesterday morning. 40 degrees in Kirksville and Bloomfield, 39 in Lancaster, 37 in Macon right now. But we do have some stronger winds moving on in contributing to wind chill values still dropping down and below the freezing threshold of 32 degrees. 28 is what it feels like in Centerville, 32 for the wind chill value in Ottumwa, and 30 for what it feels like over in Milan right now. So make sure you're grabbing, uh, I'd say, uh, grab that windbreaker because it is going to get really windy here during the afternoon hours. Uh, we are going to be looking at wind speeds possibly gusting to around 30 miles an hour. So hold on to your hats, folks, but expect to see plenty of sunshine. So grab those sunglasses as you're heading out the door. Temperatures pushing into the mid and upper 50s. Another pretty mild night tonight. Clear skies. Winds again very strong tomorrow. Once again, another sunny day with temperatures pretty much staying the same right around 55 or so degrees for us here. Now later on tonight, there is a possibility of some liquid precipitation, but really it's very fleeting and we're seeing a lot of this staying just off to the north of our viewing area. And so far, most of our model progression has kind of dropped off a lot of that precipitation as it's gone closer and closer to the heartland. So we'll continue to keep you updated on those uh, precipitation chances for later tonight, but otherwise just make sure you get out there and enjoy this warm weather. Now let's go ahead and send it back to Ella.